Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman of Techno Marketer, and this is a, uh, a new type of post that I'm going to be doing to help explain some of the more complicated issues that are uh, sometimes confuse or uh, intimidate marketers. And today what we're going to look at is the, the term API. And API stands for Application Programming Interface. Basically what it is, is a doorway through which uh, only people with the right key can pass. <coughs> so, you know, if here is a, here's you over here, <coughs> and let's say you're trying to access Google. Let's say you want to tie into Google Maps. <coughs> and let's say that you're doing a mashup that includes your data and Google Maps data. Well, what the API that Google has written does is it lets you come in, it basically checks to make sure that you have the right key, and if you have the right key, it allows you access to the Google Maps. Now, what Google Maps is, is it's part of a library. So, you know, one of these books are, you know, you can read from maps, you know, uh, geocode data. You can write to maps. So basically what the API does is it allows you access to Google data in a controlled manner. It gives you as a marketer access to only what they want you to have and it's limited per key. So one key can only have read map data access, another key can have access to everything. So what this API does you basically send it a request that says, get map. The API looks at your key and says, do you have access to get the map? If you don't, it kicks you back in error. If you do though, it lets you come over here, it lets you go into the read map library. So it lets you access you know, the visual, the, the um, satellite imagery, the regular road imagery, um, <clears throat> and then it lets you take that, passes it back through the API in a way that you can understand it. And all of that is documented. You know, from a marketing perspective, all you need to know really is what is in this library and how you can engage uh, your users on your side with that data. So once it comes back over here, you know, you can build a map. <clears throat> Let's say it's Ohio. That's a really bad Ohio, but you know, let's say that you have sales data in a database here on your side. You can basically overlay that and put pinpoints on the map where all of your major accounts are. You know, you're seeing a lot of this mashup, this, these mashups that are being facilitated by these APIs, and that's a big tenant of Web 2.0 is an open API structure. Basically, meaning that companies are giving you access to their libraries that you can do what you want with their data in a controlled manner. Um, and you know, companies like Google are actually moving to open up more and more of this data. They have you know, Maps, data, uh, Maps API, a Gmail API, a Reader API. Um, you know, they're really trying to open it all up to a marketer. So from, from your perspective as a marketing person, all you really need to know is what, what those libraries are, Leave it to the technology guys to work out the key and the, the translating back and forth. Just know what's available on this side, what you have on this side, and then what comes out in the middle. So that's it. Uh, you know, if you have questions on this, let me know. That's really APIs in a nutshell. And uh, you can send me an email, mattdickman at gmail.com, or you can leave me a comment. Thanks a lot.